Hello and welcome to a video tutorial within 3ds Max on how to create a sky view factor map. Okay, to get started, here I have a location that I've added in from Map Room. This plugin up here, I have searched a location. I searched Footscray, in particular French Street, which is this street just here. And now what I need to do to begin the process of um, creating a map for a sky view factor, uh, I need to add an Arnold dome light source, so a, a dome skylight. And how I do that, you go over to the create panel. Now we're going to go to the lighting, so this one here. Now the drop down menu, we want to go to Arnold and then select Arnold light. Now to go down here, you want to make sure the type is on Sky Dome. So I believe the the default is Quad. So you need to change that to Sky Dome. And there's a couple of settings that I will change here. The settings I've already filled out here are intensity, so it's at 0 0.001, and I also adjusted the exposure to zero. Now I've unchecked normalize energy and I also unchecked atmospheric shadows. Now everything else I've left set at one here and I haven't changed any of the settings in the lower, in this, this lower section. Okay, so now that we've added in all of the properties and the parameters that we want for our sky dome, I'm going to drop one into our site. So now we've got an Arnold light, a sky dome light within our project. And if I unselect this, you can see that it's illuminated in yellow. Now the next step that we want to do to create a a map for the sky view factor is to head up to rendering environment here I've got it set this is the automatic setting you can see how dark that is and we're going to set it to linear exposure control because I want to change some of the exposure levels and contrast Okay, now if I head up to render, okay, so I just wanted to show you what the render was going to look like with a sky dome light within the viewport. So a sky dome light simulates light from a sphere or a dome above the scene. So this represents the sky and it isn't set to a specific time. Next we want to use the settings which we created here and create a sky view factor map. So sky view factor represents the ratio at a point in space between the visible sky and the hemisphere centered over the location. So it's where the sky is blocked by obstacles and that's quite prevalent when you're in say the Melbourne CBD and if you were standing on the footpath and to look straight up. Um, the, the visible sky is the visibility part with the sky view factor and all of the buildings which obstruct are the obstacle. Once we've changed the settings under linear exposure control parameters, we're going to go to the drop down and go to pseudo color exposure control. And you can see here that it's jumped to like a red heat map. And now I'm just going to adjust some of the settings for our sky view render. It's quite a constructive tool to visualize urban footprints and building typologies and the implications that these decisions make on trapping urban heat, creating urban canyons and contributing to an environmental temperature crisis. 
And what you can do now, so I just wanted to show you something over here. You can see that this scale is the Lux scale. So when comparing to the image we've just created here, we don't have any really deep shadowing where you get around the zero or the dark blue, but we do get in the aqua. And to save this, you just save the image. You have an array of different formats that you can save it in, and then you just save. And that is how you visualize the sky view factor.